Hey everybody, it's Friday the 28th of October. It is 13.05 and as usual, I'm right on time for the 1pm live stream. <laughs> it's time for today's The Journey Home. What's up? All of the microphones are on. Don't look over there. <laughs> this is my live stream. I've got this. Uh, <laughs> sorry. The, what was I saying? It's time <laughs> for The Journey Home and the Biscuit Reviews. With me, it is your host, it's Edward C. Lewis! Yay! But, as we all know, because it is Friday, that means that it's today is the Bisquiz Day, where my dad, Walter Neil Lewis, jumps on, on <laughs> all the way from Scarpsville, Tennessee, uh, in Ohio, in Kirkham and Wesson County Primary School, that's where I went to school. Hello, okay. Friday! <laughs> <laughs> wow. He wow. lives in Kirkham, in it, which is in the northwest of England. His postcode is. Whoa! Stop whoa, right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, there. Wow, I've had to have these people on Stop here. Stop right there. To control me today. <laughs> so I've got a couple of guests. It is, of course, the wonderful, the ever present, the omniscient, the omnipresent, oh. um, Bode of Rees. <laughs> Yay! Yay. 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 Yeah. Not, she's not actually omniscient and omnipresent. Oh, definitely not. She's omnipresent. Ever present. She is omnipresent. Evanescence? Evanescence. That's where I was going to go next. And apparently, on my left, apparently. Mm -hmm. Maybe, mm -hmm. on my left, we have uh, someone called oh, Zach Antonacci. Yeah. I can't come back. The head of community at Frontier Developments here to join me with my quiz team. How is everybody? Good to see you You're all. Yeah, all good to see Megal, 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 not Biffle, Commander Benkai, Admiral Akbar, JSB, CT1, Connor Calder, Yay Rule, Planet Coast, NL, good to see you as well, oh and Draco2540. As we know, today is the Bisquiz, but you cannot do a Bisquiz without, of course, the Bisquiz Master. Don't worry, at quarter to two, we will be doing today's Biscuit Reviews, a very, very special one, all the way from the other side of the world. Uh, we've got to the point, we've got to this point now with, with our Biscuit Reviews where <coughs> we're doing so many different incredible weird things we've we've, we've chilies we've made it all the way past 100 <laughs> yeah. and we've also incredible done weird things things chilies. that get disqualified for no reason so we mm, so <laughs> and ones that do for <laughs> legitimate reasons yeah. now this is zach tigerius this is zach antonacci head of community at frontier developments and we do have um uh, i'm sorry that we can't quite fit all in but i just need to make sure there's enough space for me to be clearly <laughs> You don't seem to have a halo around you. Oh, no, I need like no, an effect. Oh, wait. Can oh, I, get can, that I can draw sorted? one. Wait. On the green screen. <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> don't draw it on my face. <laughs> so we do have uh, Walter Neil Lewis waiting in the chat, uh, in the in the wings, of course. And then we are going to be doing the Bisquiz today, which is me, or oh, actually me and my two bezies here, <laughs> against you guys in the chat, uh, against the chatters. First of all, we Chatters. of course have to have the Bisquiz, um, <clears throat> the Bisquiz master. But we're waiting until more people file in. The last few days we've had a very... It's been a very busy stream with lots of people mm. in. Um, so I'm hoping that you'll all come back for the biscuit. Did oh, you we haven't tweeted about David it. Help us. Tweet. I haven't tweeted about it. Oh, David, David would help win, us with the quiz. He? he would win. We just, we'll just text him. Hey, Davy. Davy actually, he literally did just walk past him in uh, the corridor. Hey, oh, Davy. He's not like supposed that? to be in. Hey, Braven. Isn't he? Why is he not supposed to be in? I think he's, um, I think he's, I think he's out of the office today. But he wasn't. He walked Ooh. past and he was like, I'm not here, honestly. Okay, now, he is omnipresent. Omni knowledgeable. Omni everything. Omni. Omni, Omni all. Omni brain. Oh That's redundant. One second, I'm just doing a tweet now. <coughs> uh, come, so and do take I. part. I'll retweet it. In the Bis Quiz. I'll retweet it this to This is the community people, team. People that follow me, <laughs> which will also follow you. Which will definitely all be your followers on <laughs> yes, my Twitter. Uh, except you have the same, but more. <laughs> I like it. How, how do you spell Zach? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Why aren't it? you appearing on here, Zach? And there you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there I am. This is very professional, isn't it? Yeah. This is also well interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Come on to the stream and watch us do some tweets. Quality stream. Yeah. Watch us live tweet on the live, live stream. Live tweet on the live stream. Meta. Meta, meta. You can all go and retweet this as well if you like Again, at home. Join in already. with us. Twitch, Twitch on. <laughs> what? Twitch what on? What oh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Twitch. It's definitely Friday, isn't it? Twitch.tv for us. I've seen this. There, I've got it. Come on, take part in the biscuit with me, but I don't know that right now. Hey, sorry, Neil. <laughs> Dad, if that's what, if that's your real name. Right, I usually wait till there's around about 30 people, so I'm just going to do one last refresh of the page, and then we can begin today's biz quiz. 
which is very, very exciting indeed, and we can bring on the man himself. Oh, it does look like we have around about 30 people. Fantastic. <laughs> Are you all ready to take part in today's quiz? Apparently, it is about um, current affairs and this, this, the last week in news, which is, we haven't done one of these on the stream yet. Last week, I won for the first time. I got, got ten, one. and they got nine, or I no got nine, way. and they got eight. Was yeah. it about comic books? The child, the the childhood years of Edward my, Lewis. My life. <laughs> it's just about. And they got nine. Very out of specifically <laughs> about me. They like smartphones more than their fans. We don't have any fans. We have a community of friends. Aww. Uh, so what we're doing now? Oh, I know That's what it nice. is. I know what we're doing. We're inviting the man himself, Walter Neil <laughs> Lewis. He's here. Everybody's favourite dad. Well, I don't know. Is your favourite dad your dad? Probably, yes. Is your dad no your favourite dad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than yeah, the other to ones. Mute Mr. Wonderful. Lewis. This is going to be he's insane. Muted. No, he's not muted. Should be here. Okay, hello? Hello, hello. Oh, there there he is. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't be hearing it back in a loop too much because unfortunately, we don't have the ability to have headphones in because we only are limited to one set of headphones at Frontier Developments and we share them out between the entire staff of 300 people. <laughs> um, so, hopefully, you're not sounding too. How have you been? How's your week? Oh, not bad. You know, there's been uh, weather here, you know, uh, quite changeable, beautiful autumnal days, and then winter sets in and then it becomes spring all within about 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> It's that's that's the north as well, isn't it? It is. Miserable it is. north. Is the north still miserable? Are people still depressed up there? Oh no, no. We're, we're happy. Oh. We like to just keep it to ourselves. Otherwise, there'd be too many invasions. Right. Okay. From from us <laughs> from us filthy southerners now. That's what that's I am. I've, I've, I've betrayed you, haven't I? Oh, no. There is a bit of an echo. Says. Okay. Well, I'll try and turn you down just a turn little me. bit. A ski resort announcement with a feedback loop. Well, that's going to be fun. Keep so, on talking, luck. and you can mess about. Yeah. How's that? Oh, Does dear. everyone have a set of headphones on you? Oh dear. I don't. Uh, we could, if you get, if people don't mind, I could literally run and grab some headphones. Sure. Yeah. Entertain the chat. Don't do anything. Wait a second. Naughty. Should I do that? Because it's your stream. Uh, yeah. It's probably better that uh, you stay. Three sets of headphones is quite hard to find, though. Three sets of headphones. Yeah, one each. I don't know what this does. Just set this desk, don't know. Mine is in my pocket. There's, there's one. Grab that one. I mean, you could pretend that there's you're all pocket. participating. Two. Well, not so here. Oh. Oh, so, sorry, no, you don't have to. Don't don't worry about it. You you, you keep talking There's quietly. One. We've got one. Oh. That, there you go, Bo. No. You can wear those ones. Oh, so I'm just going to get another two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do yeah. I have to wear the funky punchy ones? Just go. All you have to do is go and grab Ross. Yeah. Look how cool you look at those. <laughs> can you hear everything? No. Someone speak. Walter, speak for me, please, sir. Walter, Walter, speak. Ooh. Speak. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Ruff. One down. Okay. Two One more. It's fine go. now. We can't. He I, I can't hear him. The problem is that I can't hear him speak. Well, you never uh, listen anyway. You never listen anyway. I never. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do that at work either. That's that's typical, isn't well, it? Just, what are you talking just about? What? What? Just not listening. Great. Zach so is, Zach is having I hope a great been, time. I hope everyone's been swatting up because, of course, we have been joined by Walter Neil Lewis, my dad, up there in the corner. He comes every week on a Friday, or whenever we can get around to doing it, most weeks, for the BIS quiz. Zach's come back. Has he got two sets of headphones or just the Yay! one? Oh, gosh, it's, there's a lot going on here. What a we don't winner. need that. Do you need that? I don't <laughs> think we need that. They're yours. All right. <laughs> They're Ross's. Okay. Ross is like you guys' is Bez's. Oh, so no, I don't, I don't know about, about Oh, that might. Mm, hold on. All right, here we go. You ready? No, where the... This is like proper pro. Yeah. We haven't even announced our team name yet. No, what is the team name, Bo? You said it. Team name. I forgot. It was funny. I, I can't do the I delivery as great as you can. Zach probably has to do it. Well, I, Wait, I turn, don't believe. I've got to turn that music on. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm just climbing from out, from under the bus. You ready? Yeah, that's true. Here we go. So we're all, we're all in. We should all be able to hear now. Hello, Mr. Lewis, can you speak for me? I can speak for you. Can you hear him? Yeah. Can, can you hear him? Yeah. Can I hear him? Yes. You're can you hear him? Can you, I can hear me. Yeah. You're making the assumption that hearing me will, will give you the right answers. Yeah. Well, well it's awesome. certainly going to help. Yeah. <laughs> sure. At least feel. Yeah. Well, I think we look really cool. We look like a, um, a cool set of DJs. Would you, would you like to... <laughs> That's terrible. That's the worst right. DJ in my life. Uh, yeah. Hey, now so the team name is, of course, you got to have. You're the Chatters, Jetters, the chat Chatters, 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 as you know. Yeah. And so far, apparently, currently, there are 47 of you. So it's 47 versus three. So remember, what are the rules? Uh, oh, by the way, our team name is Quiz Team Aguilera. <laughs> Bo likes it because she's. 
some 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 phonetic society will uh, will send in a complaint. Because, uh, okay, uh, right. Yes, the rule. The rules of regulation. <laughs> Basically, I give you ten questions. Okay. Now you've closed down your chat stream, or you will do so. Mm -hmm. And I'll hear my question. I'll take the first three answers. Okay, and come up with a composite answer. And then I'll ask you guys for your answer. Okay. Okay. Two together. We're going to write, write down. We're all going to have a go as well. So we're all going to write down what we think it is. Oh man. And then we're going to decide together. Pressure. Who's done the right answer? Uh, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to play some Elite Dangerous because nice. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So, that was, what is today's quiz all about? Today's quiz, as as you guys decided, of course, the last time was uh, current events. Okay, things happening between exactly that time when we left off last time and right up until now. Okay, and uh, well, if you have a real life, you'll probably get zero on it. <laughs> so we can all feel comfortable in the fact that if we do get zero, we can just claim it. Microphone back on. Oh no. We We've had that, that too easy-ish. Quizzes recently. Yeah. But, uh, this one's back to being just brutally, you know, brutally difficult. Well, yeah. no, I don't know. It's happened. Okay. You go. Hey, I heard about that. What was their name? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Was that was that the first question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, John. Christine uh, Magalera is not ready. Yeah, yeah we're ready now. <clears throat> what we're going to do? Christine Magalera, oh. yeah. be ready. Yes. Say bye, no, Ed. We're never be bye, everybody. We'll bye, talk to you later on. Nice. Remember, don't cheat and look up on things on Google because you're only cheating yourselves. Yeah. This is the quiz where we're all. It's, the, it's called the. We want called? to lose with honor. The Biz Quiz is also known oh. as the Honesty Quiz. Oh. We're not going to lose. We're going to win this. Okay. Too many sometimes. Oh, we do have Zach. Too many chefs spoiled the broth and all Honestly, that. honestly, don't put any stock in the fact that I'm here. We, we are in serious <laughs> trouble. All right. And two journalism majors as well. Yeah, that's it. You two, <laughs> you two are the ones that we're, we we're going for. We should be the ones who know everything. Oh, Bye, Perka. Oh no, wait. We can't see oh, wait, that as well. We, we can actually still see the chat. Put it there. away. Go away. There you go. Right. Now we can't see that. Okay, now we're ready for question number one in this quiz. Uh, what, a, what an august group, and I'm and I'm talking about the chatters here, not uh, not you three. Okay, <laughs> right. Yes, no cheating. Uh, as I say, the beer just wouldn't taste good, imaginary or otherwise. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not imaginary. You're not allowed to say that. What, um. what what comes up, comes up. What comes into your heads that goes on the on the paper or onto the chat line. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Remember, no. the first three that you say in the chat is going to be the uh, going to be the things that he chooses. Yeah. Right? The first but, three. At the same token, gut level reactions because mm -hmm. no one's doing any research on these except for me. Okay. Question number one. <laughs> Question number one, I'd like to know which Formula One driver has agreed to play the role of an engineer on board the Retribution in the new Call of Duty game, which is uh, called Infinite Warfare, it's out on November the 4th. Name please the Formula One driver who's agreed to play the role of an engineer on board the Retribution in the new Call of Duty game, Infinite Taste Warfare. It. Can you please use the question in a sentence? <laughs> Please. Question in a sentence. Yeah, you know how you do on spelling bees. Can you please use the question? It might help me understand it a little bit more. Uh, I want to know the name of a Formula One <laughs> of people who's got oh, okay. a uh, Call of Duty. Great. <laughs> no, that's not him. That's not correct. That's probably correct. I yeah. have their answer. So Wait, who's this one? Who's this one? Who's this? Yeah, he's a person. Is he, a, is he, <laughs> is he one of those people? Yeah, he's one of those people. I think it might be him. Okay. Because I think... No, no, go for that one. <laughs> well, no, so, the, so I've written reason why at the bottom. You've got that, you've got that answer, have That's you? literally the only reason oh, yeah, that okay. I would consider. I just, that just, that's the one that popped into my head. But so. that is one. I don't know, I've never seen it. I don't know what Formula One is. <laughs> it's cars and stuff. I don't know what Formula One is. I mean, you I know. definitely wouldn't go for that one. No, <laughs> Okay, so let's I mean, reveal. Pretty sure oh, no, they work here. Go on, what, go on, let's pick an answer quickly. Um, one Zach. of these two. Zach's. All right, Zach. As Zach, team, present as your team. answer, yeah. Present your answer, Zach. Uh, Lewis Hamilton. Can I also say that? Go on. No, no, go on. You, you uh, Lewis oh. Hamilton is uh, absolutely correct. Okay. Oh! Yes, so to be us. fair, the reason that I wrote was just because he likes the limelight. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Um, so how did um, everyone else do? Uh, they did uh, just as well as you. It's one one. Okay. I, wrote, I went for Sebastian Vettel. And then uh, Bo went for Kit Harrington. <laughs> Harrington? <laughs> yeah. He's in Call of Duty. He is in Call of Duty, but he's not as a Formula One guy. I, I know, but I thought so he So what you did there is you took part of the question. <laughs> I know, I just, I just wanted his name yeah. to be mentioned. Like okay. on the podium, though, he would, yeah. yeah. 
He also likes the limelight. He'd look good in a f in a Formula One film. He would so look he? good. Play, he play a, Chris a Hemsworth did it. Yeah, yeah, and it's very good. It was really good. Mm. Okay, on okay. to question two. Please be careful with this one, okay? Oh, oh I will. Research out just by a, uh, by a reputable work management platform says, quote, that it makes conveying ideas and feelings easier, end quote. 60% of women and 55% of men admit doing it while at work. Oh. What is, what, what is it? What is That's it? That's the question. Research so just now, question. reputable work management platform says, quote, it makes conveying ideas and feelings easier. It and 60% of women, 55% of men admit doing it at work. What is it? Dancing. Wouldn't that be great? It might not be. I that don't good. think it's that. Okay. Uh, um, I don't know. So sixty-five, and it and it <clears> makes <throat> and they say that it helps convey feelings and what? Ideas, easier. Oh. <laughs> Is that what you do? I really don't know. Well, you no, I don't think that's it. Uh, what do you think? Zach, you're like the head of the community. Yeah, you should be researching this kind of here? stuff. Do you want to move a little closer towards me, Zach? Because yeah. you, you cut off a little bit inside there. How's everybody in the chat doing? Hope you're doing well. I can't see you or speak to you, but... I, I have their answers. The are they... Are I, they that, I use that in the plural. Okay. Um, it's probably not, but... That's an interesting one. Oh, yeah, there you go. That makes sense. Uh, I've got I'm one. Just, Probably makes more sense in the first part of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Are you having it? A... I'm just trying to think of something good. I'm trying, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of something amusing. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's not happening, though, is it? <laughs> what, do you, what do you do 55% of your day that makes you more productive? Have wonderful conversations with you two. Oh, that's true. Okay, we're gonna go with what else? Not mine. It? Not not mine either. Or I'm could it be there for no reason? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just that in general. Yeah. I think which one could be that. No, I think I think, it could I think be the that. top one. Go for the top one. Why not? <sighs> so not gonna be right. I th Zach has gone for use social media. We are going for together as a team. Use social media. Use social media. That's what six people. Sixty percent of women and fifty-five percent of men said they do this in the course of uh, work, and uh, the work management platform says it makes conveying ideas and feelings easier. And you yeah. are absolutely wrong. Wrong. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Was now, it second, Was it napping? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. The, the, the chatters took an entirely different sort of angle on this, mm -hmm. and most of them went off to the loo, either to cry in the toilet or oh. take. It. Verbial, yes. Okay. Oh, that uh, helps to convey an idea. But they also had uh, talking and, and coffee breaks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, coffee okay, breaks. Yeah. The actual yeah, answer. Is, mine was. Can I give you mine? Mine was watch the biscuit review live stream. I think sixty percent of 60 women and fifty-five percent of men agree that it is in this country, is which good. works out at about what were we at forty-seven? <laughs> Forty-eight people. Probably probably gone down since Maths. this. Maths. Since Maths since are the start good. Of this one. Uh, come on, what's the real answer? The real answer is swearing. Oh, oh, bloody hell! Yeah. Did you know that I've never heard one. my dad swear? Go on, give us an example of a swear word. <laughs> uh, 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 no. You can't do it! You literally cannot do it! Do you know what though? It's really weird. My stepdad doesn't. He's the one he never did. The minced, even the minced oaths are, are merely substitutes. And if you have a vocabulary, you don't need them. So we had my ah. stepdad never uses it at all, ever. I swear like a trooper. And then one day we were at a restaurant and I was just like, go on, say it. Go on, say something. Just say something yeah. for me. What did he say? And he did and he went, he went, he said, no, listen, I don't like to do it because then when I do do it, it makes it crystal clear. And he said it. <laughs> and he said it really clear and you're just like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's true that I, uh, when, it, you, when you hear my dad say something like, crap, it's like, oh my God, something is, there's been an explosion <laughs> or something. Someone's died. Yeah. Oh. I did a voiceover for uh, for a television program once. You know that that you know, sort of, um, uh, the it was beyond the, the quill. The thank you beyond the quill. All about the the seedy underbelly lives of the the romantic poets. I'm sure and we can get that on the internet somewhere. During after. during that during that they made me say a word that was current in usage in the in the 18th century, uh, quite common that would now be yeah. totally abhorred. But the nice thing was that every time I said it, they bleeped it out. Oh, that's good. Aww. That's nice. Nice for yeah. you. All right, question number three. <laughs> number three. Question number three. It currently stands at 1-1, one, one, one out of two for each of you. You're both on 50%. Mm -hmm. Number three. 
Jose Mourinho endured his worst defeat ever in English football on his return to his former club, Chelsea. What was the score last weekend? Jose Mourinho, he endured his worst ever defeat in English I football. I believe Zach. To his former club, Chelsea. What was not the certain. It's not certain, but I think it is. I hope so. I did watch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let us know when they've got answers. Because we'll answer this one. Nice I don't support think. Chelsea or Man United, but I think I think I think I watched it. I I have their answer. Okay. Okay, mine they've is. Got this I one. went for fourteen nine. That's not our answer. Well, that's, that's not, not our, answer. our answer. please. But I went for. He is a loser. No score. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and and Zach went for, which is the answer we're going for, and that's four nil. Four goals to nil. <clears throat> four goals to nil is correct. Yes, Yay, Zach. Two thanks, out of the three. As was. Did they, by the way, did they get episode? Did they get no? So no, we're, we're, we're joining. We're joining. Exactly. They will have got this four one. Nil, surely. Nil, nil, four nil. Four nil. Ugh. Four nil. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> got a Chelsea fan in there, or a, a Newcastle. <clears throat> what was the team that you won? Manchester United. Manchester United. Oh wow. It, locally, we had uh, quite a result this week. Uh, well, sort of anti-result in that uh, Newcastle beat Preston. It's not in the quiz. Six nil. Uh, wow. They're playing again tomorrow in the league, and we'll see what happens then. Could be Newcastle ten. Newcastle beat Preston. Newcastle are playing Preston. Go, good job, Newcastle. Yes. What's yeah, Newcastle went down. Football. This is mad. All right. I haven't watched it since about. Middlesbrough only just went up. Ninety-nine. Do you know? I haven't. I haven't paid any attention to football for ages, and yeah. the only reason I started getting back <clears> into it was on my birthday. My wife bought me a ticket to go see Middlesbrough, which is something I'd done Aww. years and years and years ago. And I went back there, and then I've sort of just been following it a little bit since. So mm. that's the only reason I watched it. Go on, football. Go on, lads. All right, next question, please. <laughs> question number four. Four, okay. Now, police, it's great. police are looking for two pensioners, one on a walking stick, mm -hmm. who stole a six-foot portrait of which classic film star in Belfast this past week? In the end, they had to leave because it was too big to get in their car. So they got away, you know. They but, stole you know, it? Yeah, oh, they stole They're, they're going to get this, and we've got no clue. Two Not heard of this. Of what, stick. Yeah. Six foot portrait of whom? Of which classic film star, right? Which classic film star? Yeah, classic film star. I'm thinking it's going to be someone like Gene Kelly. Oh, wait, we need to write these Classic down. films? Yeah, so like write down some classic. classic. Yeah, you, you know, look back at like. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, or like. Well, he's not. He's not. Is that his name? What's his real name? This one. Yeah, that that kind of stuff. Or, or who's the, who's the person who played? I don't know. I, I, this is very so, like uh, UK specific. No, not necessarily. Or not. I know. It's Do we? UK, can though. we? Mm, <coughs> you know those sorts of. Can you even read that? Yeah, can I can read that because you said it out loud. Yeah, Jean <laughs> Jean Kelly. I don't know. Let's go this for those for Kit, Kit Harrington. No, no. Have we got, have we got, have we got Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Sebastian Vettel. Um, I don't know. Four Let's go nil. For the woman. Do we have uh, their answer yet? We have their answer. answer. They will probably wouldn't make it. Okay, my answer is <clears throat> we're going for. I, 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 I don't know. No, 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 no. Go for it. Yeah. No, no. Even older, 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 older. older. Go for like who's who's the woman in? Um, I don't know. James Dean. <laughs> James Dean. James Dean is your answer. Yeah. Your answer is James Dean. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm sadly that is incorrect. I, um, now, as far as the, uh, the chatters were concerned, they were a little bit all over the show. Mm -hmm. and there was one out of the first five, but that's not really enough to, to actually do it. Um, so we're going to have to say that you both got this one wrong. Yes. Okay. The actual answer was, well, the police are calling it the great escape. It was oh. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Oh, okay. You can't write it down now. I, crossed, I just did a little cross <laughs> no, I just next to my scene. Steve team. McQueen, as if that would mean that you somehow done better. No, I'm okay with <laughs> being honest. How neat you are compared to me. It's, and your writing's really nice, Steve. I've, I only started. I've been reading my I, I only started writing numbers down after <laughs> you guys were doing it because I was just I was just going to write words around. <laughs> so terrible. So, All right, what's the next question, please, Mr. Okay. Lewis? As in my dad, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. You call your own dad, so, sir. Yeah. Sir. Okay. Please, sir. Oh, it is, it is, it's terrible. I go out socially now, and people that are about seven foot tall are calling me sir, and I, and I can't remember them because I, I knew them when they were two foot four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number five, halfway through today's quiz. 
After the success of Pandemic Legacy, designer Rob Davio is back with a new board game. Just out, it's a seafaring adventure. What's it called? I don't know. Funny this we had someone be, here who you're... was this was their specialist subject. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ed Lewis, who got me into board games, <laughs> took me to the UK Board Games Expo. He's got this can nailed. I, can I Google it? No. no. Nobody else will know it. There's all right. I'll repeat the question. After the success of Pandemic Legacy, designer Rob Davio is back with a new board game. Just out, it's a seafaring adventure. What's it called? <laughs> it sounds like a game I would play. Or, or... I'm going to go for something slightly abstract. I'm on a boat. <laughs> says Bill. I'm going to go for something abstract and just assume yeah, that somehow it could be linked to that. Yeah, yeah, it won't be. It won't be. That's the only uh, thing Also, I, I was... Because you confused me with the Pandemic, of course, was Matt Leacock, who was the direct designer on Pandemic. But Pandemic Legacy must have been Matt Leacock and this other chap as well. So I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I've let everybody down, I've let you down, I've let you down, mm -hmm. chatters, I've let you guys down, and I'll never live it down. You've written help backwards. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna just... Does that, doesn't work I don't know, there's another one too. Where is it? You just have to write normal, the normal I way. I did, around. before no one saw me. <laughs> 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 All right, well you don't know if anyone saw you because they didn't answer. Next, uh, all right, did they get it wrong as well? Because we're passing. Uh, they got it wrong, Sea right, of surely. Thieves is the guess we're going for. You're gonna go with Sea of Thieves? Yeah. I mean, Sea is part of it. The actual answer was Seafall. Seafall. Seafall, Skyfall, Skyrim. <gasps> Skyrim. Oh, I'm gonna go play. Oh, yes. A capital F, A double L. Now, on a, <laughs> on a technicality, I'm keeping the scores equal because although they got into the rhythm of things, in their first three, only one of those, uh, and it was the third one, was it. Did they really know what it That's was? That's very fair. Right. They guess? That's a very fair well, answer. We need, Very good. We need, yes, consensus. So consensus. We're still tied. What else did they still, guess? Still tied on two of five. Sorry? What else did what they guess? guess? What a good guess. What, did, what else did they guess? And who got it right? Uh, Mousetrap. Um, Mousetrap. Pandemic recovery. Uh, oh, that was good. A few things, yeah. Okay, By but... the way, you should play Pandemic Legacy. It's very good. <clears throat> I haven't played Pandemic. Yes, but... I mean, it's, it's, it's a combination, isn't it, of a sort of um, role-playing video games? Yeah, you played it's Pandemic with me. Old I know, but, yeah. but the legacy, you, you only do it once and you tear up the board. You, you tear up the you tear up the cards as you go through, yeah, and you oh. play, you oh, play I, once Oh, I can't do that. that, that's money. No, that's, you couldn't, because you, he has to like, he would have to laminate every card individually as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's the opposite of me. I wonder why I'm so disorganized when he's like the most organized man in the world. <laughs> All right, next question, please. Question number six. Here yeah. we go. Question number six. Now, a survey just out has determined the top 10 sources of pride for British people. Mm. At number one, at number one, I'm going to give you a multiple guess here, and you have to, well, throw out a couple and guess the right one. Mm -hmm. At number one, was it Britain's history, the royal family, or the NHS? Oh, that's... Top ten sources of pride for British people. Oh. All, all three of these were in the top ten. At so number the one... The problem is, they could all be possible, couldn't they? Yeah, in, I don't in, think in different reasons. Well, no, we're pretty proud of it, but like, it doesn't mean that they're not going to shut it down. What? It doesn't mean the Tory government aren't going to try and dismantle it, but we are still very proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen these games. I need their answer. My gut feeling actually was, was unbelieve it or not, unbelieve it or not, was one. And then you wrote two, and that made me go, maybe two. And then now you've written three, I'm like, oh, maybe three. So I'm going to let you two fight it out. <laughs> well, I... Arm wrestle, arm wrestle. So I think that it's amazing. He's really good wrestles. at arm wrestling. That's not fair. So it's not fair Zach has an actual technique. He has studied arm wrestling. It's he, studied, not... he, studied, he studied arm wrestling at <laughs> university. That's what my he studied, master's he has a degree. Studied <laughs> arm, arm wrestling in a Buddhist temple. This is our team meetings. Like we arm wrestle each other. Okay, right? like, no. that's actually true. That's actually I'm, true. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to go with Bo. I'll, I'll let Bo. Really? No. Oh gosh. Don't. Royal family. Let's do it. Just as a foreigner, my perception of England is you're very proud of. I'm not. Your... Well, I know there was a survey out oh, recently. Right. I, wrote, I, wrote an <laughs> I, I wrote an entire magazine about them, and I don't care. All right. I don't but there know. Was, there was a survey out recently that said 70% love the royal family or something. That was, that was, I remember seeing Also, it depends on where the survey was taken. What was it taken in again? 
Well, no, it was the survey was done post um, post referendum, and yeah. it was from like Channel Four had done like so lots of different stats, NHS, and that was higher. Right? That was higher than National oh, Pride, I, I believe. So I would say it's, it's either two or three, I in my know. opinion. All right, two. So go two. Royal family. If it's the NHS, I'm sorry, though. Sorry. You're going for the you're going for the royal family. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is incorrect. Oh. No. Yes, you are absolutely right. It, it was the NHS. Yes. Why do you? Why? Always listen to Zach. Always <laughs> I'm putting a tick next to mine anyway. <laughs> if I may. I'm taking. I'm taking the Sorry, tick. Sorry, What are you saying? No, I'm just saying you know, that sort of uh, post this Brexit vote and everything, it's there in everybody's mind that on the battle bus it said we're going to give 350 million pounds a week back to the NHS and people, it's, it's very much in their consciousness. Oh, that's what, that was my reasoning for them not being proud of it, because it was a lie. <laughs> well, no, it was but a lie that it, it still exists now. Different oh, between okay. campaign and the thing. Okay. Yeah, people are still very proud of the thing. The thing yes. is great. The thing is the great. Compi the campaign was a lie. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Political. It always somehow gets political. I on always here. let you guys down. I have so to go with the chatters. And the chatters. Two out of the three were NHS, so they're one ahead. Oh. Yeah. Well done, chatters. Boo. I mean, yay! Great. All right. Next question, okay. please. Here we go. Question number seven. Uh, and I promised this for I'm not sure whom, oh, but a Japanese uh, question. Thank you. Yes. The University of Tokyo's uh, JSK Laboratory has produced a five and a half foot tall humanoid robot called Kangaroo. Kangaroo. How does it keep its 108 motors cool? University of Tokyo, the JSK Laboratory, they've produced a, a, five, and a, half foot, a five and a half foot tall humanoid robot called Kangaroo. Kangaroo. How does it keep its 108 motors cool? Where? How? How? Uh, how? Uh, it's, it's quite uh, unique, this robot. I'm not attempting anymore. I think Aww. Zach just knows everything. He's writing something. Whatever it is. You know I'm the thing? That's not the word for it, but do you know the thing I'm talking about? Do it's that. probably What's something that easy. That, that I can see you doing that. You know what I'm on about? No, I've got no idea what you're on about. I'm eating. He's got his family, he's got his answer. I have the answer, yes. All right, go on, have you got that answer? I have their answer. Oh. We're going for liquid nitrogen spray. Liquid nitrogen? Yeah. Uh, that's quite good, in fact, uh, what have we got? I think one, two, two of their first five or six. Although I like an, the idea of a nice ice cold calippo. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's, but, that's, that's it's done, <laughs> we're just calippos. Just, just fill it up. <laughs> In yeah, fact, no, the robot is cool. just an ice cream dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it keeps it cool. All right. So that's uh, not the answer. But they went for liquid nitrogen. Uh, well, they didn't go for liquid nitrogen. One out of three got it on the first three. But again, yeah. uh, everybody else then went, uh, you know. And all of a sudden, we got into gear. And, uh, well, the gear is not liquid nitrogen, but um, deionized water. It sweats. It oh. actually sweats. Uh, wow. They have to yes. half a cup of, uh, of deionized water, I think, uh, twice in every 24-hour period, and it sweats it out through the system. Mm. That's great. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, they're already kangaroo. Ahead. Kangaroo. Let them go two ahead because... Is it a giant kangaroo? Uh, no. Oh. Kangaroo. Jump so still the still one ahead. Still Sweat one ahead. Sweat, jump, and, and carry its young in a pouch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. That's what I thought. It With ice little. cream. With ice creams. Uh, what's the next question? What time is it? Eight. We've got two more to go. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of time. Then it's time for the biscuit review at quarter two. So do stick around after the biscuit quiz for the biscuit review. Bo is eating licorice, which means that she's not going to appreciate the biscuit when it arrives because she's not going to be hungry for it. Ah, uh, you've been <laughs> No, you should eat. Yeah. See, if my dad didn't teach me organizational skills, he taught me how to keep people hungry for their dinner. I didn't eat my lunch, so. That's okay. All right. I'm next question, please. I'm always hungry. Question number eight in this uh, current events round. Um, I'd like to know which British beach has been named the second best beach in the entire world? Got it. Only Dubai ranking better. Which British beach has I been think named I got it. the second best in the entire world with only Dubai ranking better? Go with your gut because you were so confident. Well, no, I, 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 I don't I'm, say it. <laughs> oh, dear God, no. Oh, dear God, no. No, 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 no. no. It what? can't be. No, because I think... The that... second best beach in the world. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do you know what? Look, you seemed confident. Let's go for it. But if they are, I have serious Jesus. issues with the person 
Very what good. did the well, What do you thing? think it is? Second best in the world? You tell me what you think the second best in the world is. I would have suggested it was either one here. Yeah. Or here. Or... Yeah, that's... that's but, but actually, no, no. Okay, so first of all... Yeah, I that's the second answer. one. That's, that's that, what I That thought. one won't be because it's pebbles. Yeah. That one may be. This one. Beautiful Sandy. Lovely views. Are full of pleasure, biased? some would say. It's full of pleasure. Am I biased or did I maybe see somebody post it on Facebook? Oh, the there you go. Okay. I feel like but I for. might be wrong. Go on. Oh, we'll go for Blackpool Beach. You're going for Blackpool Beach. <laughs> Who yeah. went to Black You're absolutely correct. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Something drastic. Who did It's a beautiful beach. It's a very beautiful <laughs> sandy beach. It is. That's got a long stretch, several miles, and quite wide, and the quality of the sand is and very good. And you can see it in like the donkeys and Buckle Rock and the whole sequence has been done up recently. The second best beach in, in the world. In the world, believe yeah. me. Oh yeah, I was born. As there. as um, of all the countries that are neighboring the sea. Was this from the Blackpool Edward Lewis blog? The second <laughs> best beach. <laughs> yeah. Look, or Brighton Beach is pebbles. Yes, it could be. That's not, why are you angry at me? I've not, I've not chosen it. <laughs> All right, so thank you for that. What's the next question, please? Did uh, they get it is the question. Did they get Did the guys get it? No, no, they got it wrong. Yeah. Yay, Yay, we're back on May, we're yeah. Skeggy. Thanks, Ed. Skeg Nest, they thought, was, uh, was where the winter is, well, the, the wind is so bracing, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Equally as implausible. Zach thought Cornwall might have been the thing. Or Brighton, but yeah. Yeah. Which is understandable. Bo didn't write anything. I thought Brighton, and then I was listening because okay. you went, oh my god, I know, so I just didn't right. yeah. attempt anymore. Yeah. You're going to write Brighton or Blackpool. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting you down as one behind. You're still one behind here. So oh. No. Equals? No, no, Mr. Daddy Lewis. Mr. Daddy Lewis. Uh, one, two, one, two. No, you're right. I'm, uh, it's equals. It's equals because it was only. Uh. Although I was impressed, as I say, who was it? Um, they did a really good job of getting that one that one correct. Um, yeah, me. Chineri Rinali or whatever. Shut yeah. oh, Shan. Did, did a very good cookies, job. Shan. Okay. Okay. Question number nine. An ultimate. <laughs> next to last in today's quiz, and we're going to come down to some serious questions here. Uh -oh. I want to know who won Bake Off. <sighs> Zach, you know that. Don't know it. I don't know it. Conclusion on BBC. Who won? Yes. Who's... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I even talked about it on yesterday's stream. So if every, anybody didn't, I literally talked about it on this stream yesterday. Uh. So if people have not been paying attention, and everyone in the chat was going, spoilers, don't tell us, we haven't watched it on, on demand yet. No, I was like, okay. There you go. They should get it then. I don't know if it's her surname, so. <gasps> spoilers! It's a her. <laughs> what are you going to go for a guess? No, I'm just, I'm happy with yours. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. I'm ready with my answer. <clears throat> okay, I have theirs, yes. My answer, of course, well, first of all, Bo went for Kit Harrington. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go for Candice. Candice is correct, yes. Yeah. That's uh, right. Zach went for Ed Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. I don't remember anyway. <laughs> what? Just, Out of the two of us, who we'll baked you what? birthday brownies? Yeah, to be fair, her, I tell you what. Her service. I don't no. know her surname. We don't need it, but uh, just just checking. Candice McCandice face. Candice McCandice. <laughs> Candice McBake face. <laughs> Candice is baked. Brown, as in the color of. Candice Brown. This, it's brown. Yeah, Candice. Ah. No, okay. so that's correct. Um, two I liked her lips. Oh, she wore lots of that's lips correct lips as well. Sweet, it? So it's still tied going into our final. Their third offering was Mr. Kipling, but I don't think he was involved. Oh. He'd have won it if he tried, though. I don't think he exists as a human born. You finish off with a, a birthday, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, usually I give it a year either way for the full point with no half points given. But what I'm going to say here is because we have, you know, we're, we're trying to break this tie, it's going to have to be spot on to get it. Otherwise, the closest to it without going over. So we've got a winner here. This without is, going over, that's important. You, you either got to get spot on. And then okay. type or the closest to it without going over. Okay, right. And it was uh, singer Katy Perry who celebrated this past week. How old is Katy Perry? <gasps> I feel like I should know this. Very quickly. When nope. you say Perry. without going over, Chapters, you're doing very well. Give me your gut level reaction. Don't go. Don't go over her age. 
So, so as in guess, the year has to be higher than no, her, no, so her actual birthday, year. Her birthday, how old Do she is. Do we have to guess her birthday or just how old you she is? guess how her old age. she is. Her age. She has her age in years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, without going over... Oh, I think... That's what I think. What? Are you yeah, crazy? No, I'm going for like... Mm-mm. Yeah, well, no, 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 I was that. going like this. I'm going to go for you. I'm going to go... I'm actually for you. I think, I think you're right. In fact, I might even argue that... Yeah. No, I have... I, I, have I think there, that's right in between us. All right. I called a composite based on three. One of the three was incorrect. So Don't what I'm saying is, if you can hit it spot on with your one guess, then uh, you'll have this because we right. can disagree. All right. Mm, go for the middle one. 32. You're going to say she's 32? Yeah. She's 32. Well done. Yay! Yay! Just Tima Aguilera. Two in a row. <laughs> two in a row. <laughs> chanting. Yeah. Sorry. Just calm down. Does that mean we won the quiz this week? Uh... On a technicality, yes. Okay. Can you do a lad, a lad quiz? A lad, a, what was it? A lad, a lad chant? Lad chant. La, a quiz all about lad chants. Lad chant. Laddie chants. All I'll right, say, let's. I'll say, I'll say no chance. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Yay. All but, right, we've brought the guys back up. Thank you so much. Well done. Oh, yeah, some people were saying 32, 33. 32, 33, yep. Yeah. So because you because oh it was a technicality. I'm happy that I knew that. Oh. It was a 33. The first one was over, and that's why I allowed you. If you could get spot on. I mean, how okay. you... Bet they feel a bit... I bet they feel a bit ripped off that one. there. They need, somebody, says need, somebody says need a, a tiebreaker. Maybe we do another tiebreaker. Tie we'll, take, we'll take that as the moral victory. Or the victory. Yeah, another <laughs> tiebreaker. <laughs> no, let them have it. That was fair. They got two of the three. They, got, they needed two out of the first Commander three, Benkai got it right, saying, who cares? <laughs> That's just the correct He's answer. Right. Oh. Oh. You need oh. a tiebreaker anyway, don't you? Yeah. Well, we would like one. Tie breaks are fun, aren't they? Sorry, we just forced one upon you. He's like, oh, I'm gonna quickly find one. I didn't like this. Found one. That's okay. I bet. I bet your dad is so organized. He already has one. Oh, he has loads. Place. He's hundreds. Let's oh, go to Barcelona. Hundreds. We're gonna go to Barcelona for the tie break, okay? Okay. Now, you know, Barcelona. Barcelona is it's it's a very beautiful place with lots of interesting historical places and architectural gems. I'd like to know how many World Heritage sites are located in Barcelona. Again, closest to it without going over. How many World Heritage sites are located? Uh, we might want to move that chat down. In oh, yeah, sorry, I'm going to chat. chat. I haven't seen it. We they can't see this. anything. Come through, yeah. Don't say anything yet, chat. Oh, no, quick, 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 don't look. There you go. Come. We couldn't see. Yeah, we didn't see anything. I'm going to say... It can't, be, it can't be a high number, like, as in... That's all I know. He's there. I have the first <laughs> Okay. There's a few My there. answer is Kit Harrington. No, that's not what I wrote. Excuse me, I just won this question for you. You did win that question for um, us. You actually won the quiz for us there. No, I didn't. You did. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go on. Whatever Zach writes down is what we're going for. Oh, don't put that on me. I'm gonna. Let's just go for like. No. No, no, no. More? I was gonna go way higher. No. <laughs> no, I was thinking maybe that one. Oh, I, was, I was thinking. Write it down. Minimum, I would go with that one. All right, but I'm probably wrong. Do you want to do thirty? That's the drum roll. Thirty. Why not? You're going for thirty. We went for thirty last time. That's fine. Go for twenty-seven. Go for twenty-seven. Not twenty-seven. 30, twenty-seven. Bose. Bose is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, not thirty. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're wildly out. There's only eight. Let's <sighs> see. Sorry. And they said seven, so on on a tie break, they have breaking fights until next <laughs> Sorry, Bo. I said two, and then I said 12. They said and then, 27. And then I was pressured by, uh, by Zach. I by Zach. Zach was like, no, well, there's way like, more. Why not mine? Like, uh, you can't. Because it's less, because 30 is too Come high. On. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're running way over time here. It's 10 to, so that means it's time for today's biscuit review. But I want to say a huge round of applause for Walter Neil Lewis. Please come from the chat. Thank you. For coming over here and saying one last thing, quick, please. Can people suggest in the chat? Um, uh, Barcelona is in Blackpool. Yes, winner, says Big Fun. All right, you finally win. You get your way. What <laughs> quiz do you want next week's quiz to be all about? Let me know in the chat, and we will pick something from the chat as well. Uh, just before we Skyrim. go. Middle, middles of football. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, while we go and get our teas, 
Is no, I, don't, I was going to put my dad on the spot there and be like, can you read some poetry to them in the chat? Just check his face as you make that. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, my heart. All right, so we've got Barry Chuckle, we've got boy bands, we've got farming. We'll pick something from there. Boy uh, bands. What do you think straight away? Yes, please. Boy bands. Look at that. Oh, Ed bands. on his own on boy bands. Yeah. Russia, computer games, Skyrim. Skyrim. <laughs> Thank you, Bowman. Max Ursa, there you go. Skyrim. Uh, cats? <laughs> Cats. cats. <laughs> We've already done cats now, wasn't we? We have. We did one, I think, yes, didn't we? Oh. The deep sea. That's cool. Quiz about Russia. Oh, gosh. Oh. oh. We've done flight, cats, the 90s, engineers, hair, outer space, uh, biscuits, Australian. Netflix original series. Quiz uh, about quizzes. Oh. Quite like that. Should we do a quiz about quizzes? Quiz about quizzes. Yeah. It's a bit zero zero. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a little bit esoteric. Uh, is about quizzes. No, he put like you know. We get some a quiz, quiz about puzzles. You know, you could that'd be fun. We've not we've not done just general knowledge. Oh, ge all right. We we did do a general knowledge one. Did we? Was, I, I was on that one. Sorry, that was you're right. And we failed but, miserably. Who didn't? Yeah. What, what makes a light go on? And and Ed goes, what was it? Phosphor? Oh, no. What, what, does a li what makes a light go on is not the <laughs> question. What makes a light go on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Metabis quiz. I don't know. What, what, what are you going to go for? Oh, what are you going to go for? Capitals of the world, geography. Um... Capitals of the world. Capitals is really cool. Capitals uh, of the world. I'm capitals so of the bad world at that, so though. I'm cool. so bad at that. And I'm going to be on the chat side because I love capitals. That's awesome. Wait a minute. I'm good at something, so I'm not helping you, Ed. I'm going to jump on the chat side. Because I didn't, wasn't really particularly good at this one, so like, why would I come back and can can we, embarrass myself come, again? Come on. We're, we're literally, we've got a bisque. We've got a, we've got a bisque. Bris 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 so go, what, what are we picking? A Dutch quiz. What are we going for? No, no, don't do Dutch Theme quiz. Parks. No, Theme this is park. this is what Neil Lewis's choice. What are we going for? Uh, 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 matters geographical. Matters geographical. All right. right. Are you going to go get the uh, tees? Yeah. Maybe you just get the tees and we'll just sit and wait here. Yeah. Cool. Is that all right? Thanks, Zach. <laughs> oh my God. Yours is no sugar, bone, no sugar. No sugar. Thanks, no thanks, sugar. thank you, Zach. Water is fine no too. No honey. Where's your honey? Just hot water. Just anything that makes it moist. Oh. oh gosh, I'm going to crash to the star. Can you not? All right, so great. Thank you, uh, Zach. Everybody, thanks, Zach, for going to get there. We're just sticking around. Um, so, what are we thinking? We're going for matters. Everything matters. Geographical matters. Matters. Geographical matters. Yes. Places. Geography. Hmm. Has to. But mm. something being somewhere or someone being somewhere. Well, That's that, exciting. Because we can wait here while he goes to get the tea. Why don't we? Um, just we do the regular feature which is of course show us what you're reading ah uh, a uh, random a random a random book selection from the from the one of the bookshelves chosen skyrim what have we got it's just skyrim it's not uh, skyrim this is what skyrim. uh this is what you, you mentioned poetry and i've got some poetry here but it's one i don't think i'm going to be able to to recommend you buying because it's um, a thousand years old. A thousand years, a thousand and one, yeah. <laughs> it's of the nineteenth century. Whoa! It's, wow. You know, yeah, and it's a little bit uh, dilapidated, but it's the stuff inside that's absolutely excellent. I mean, it's got some Macefield, Paul Gray, who did the, the Golden Treasury and all that, but they're all sonnets. Built Does it smell sonnets. really old as well? And it, ma it makes good sounds when you go like this. Smell of old books. How does it, is so does it smell amazing. like an old book? It smells like an old book. Oh. Almost almost a cigar, but you wouldn't want to smoke this. No. That's so nice. Don't do that. Uh, All right. If, if, if you're not a sonnet reader, get out there. Try to write them as well, you know, okay? You know, simple, simple A B A B C D C D E F E F G G. Shakespearean sonnet. Or go out of arena. Go go Italian. But but try to write one because it's a wonderful way of, of actually taking an emotion feeling that might just get too far away from you and mm -hmm. by having to put it into sonic form you can control it express it beautifully um, it's a wonderful way of, of having some governing guidelines okay that's so cool. that's writing sonnets and you suggesting to everybody in the chat that they should go away yes and write a sonnet I once wrote a poem that goes up like upwards and down and back up again uh, and it makes sense both ways what's that called 
appellant, uh, upwards yes. and downwards the same? If it reads one way, you know, talk about palate. You can read it like this, and then you can read it from the like the last sentence and read it back up, and it would make a different sense, but it still made sense. Oh, like uh, something like um, rats live on no evil star. Right, except. It, it reads both both forwards and back. It wasn't, but you're saying that it was the, um, the it, it's, it's the entire poem. So yeah. it's line by line rather than exactly. the, the line itself reads backwards. So oh. line by line, the poem made sense both ways. Oh, I want to see an example of that. Yes, that sounds good. Uh, it's a bit depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write another one. All right, we've got the biscuit. What's it called? The palindrome. Up. Edward. Well, Edward, yeah. see if I can find it. You actually won a contest. Well, you, you had a, a poem published when you were about five or six years old. Yep. Oh, find that. If we can find that, that would be very yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah. It would be oh, good. that's Maybe cool. Maybe you can find that for next time. I think it's actually in that room on that shelf on the bottom shelf. Oh, you're over here. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's called the book. The the book that it's in is called Cosmo. Anyway, yes, yeah, Zach's gone to get tea. It's time for the biscuit review, everybody. So once again, huge round of applause, for Walter Nillis. Thank you so much. He's back in with the teas here. Yay! That's all right. We'll, oh, we'll, just, we'll just chair one. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, 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 Zach is such a dad. Zach, the dad. Zach, the dad. Zach is dad. dad. Oh, oh, that's rough. <laughs> He's got a pint glass <laughs> with a cup of tea. Where's my straw? All right. Master. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, WNL, and we'll see you next time next week. Yes, for next week's Biz Quiz. Sounds good. Okay. Matters to you, Thank you Thank so you. much. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Wonderful, wonderful it's to be so right harsh to just hang up. It feels really hard. It feels really hard. But I could never way, do that to my dad. You've got to carry on, keep going. Mm. All right, so uh, it's time then to begin today's Bis Grizz. <laughs> oh no, one thing I want to do really quickly, actually, oh, fair enough. Um, is this, and I want to see how far away we've got from Sol. <laughs> Seven thousand five hundred ninety-eight light years away from Sol. Whoa! Wow. Here oh, there. I can feel it tingling. So you're about, you're, you're about a week away, right? Those are crumbs from the biscuit. Oh, you're, right? you're seven hours away, right? Eight, eight or nine hours away, yeah. Crazy. Because if it, well, I can do a thousand in, a, in an hour, but it, it you got to really pay attention. All right, guys. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can quit that now and go to the desktop. Woo. Mm, desktop. And go here. Okay. So we've got the starting soon screen. We don't want that, but we've got this screen here. And of course, I'm here with the wonderful Zach Antonacci. If you have just just cut up with us with a bit of Sorry, that's me. Zach Antonacci over here, and then we've got Zach Antonacci over here as well. We've got <laughs> two you. times Zach Antonacci, female Thank version, you. male version. Oh, DeVries over here on my right hand side. Um, <coughs> but we've got. Can we take these off now? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do if you want. Yeah, I like to leave them on because they're like a fashion accessory around my neck. Like I feel like a, a um, I feel like a, a, a DJ. A DJ. A DJ. A DJ. How else I'm gonna get it? How else I'm gonna? That's one of his songs, isn't it? One of his new ones. That you Throw might a not pie have heard. at someone. All right. All right. So we've got our tea, even though it is a pint of tea. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. And we've got our biscuits. But, mm. Zach, there's one thing that we can't do a biscuit review without, and what is that, Zach? A spreadsheet. Yeah, you got it right first time. We didn't have to prompt in. All right, over here we've got yesterday's no. kind of stoop waffles, which we've disqualified because they're waffles. Right at the top, we have the Fortnum Mason Strawberry Cream Afternoon Tea Biscuit. Right at the bottom, you've got the, the Fig and Hazelnut Nonsense Hazelnut Crunchy Cookies. <laughs> I, I so like wish I'd left. Again. I wish I'd left my um, entry on there. Did you, oh, you added an entry, didn't you? I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, and at the top, we've got name, appearance, texture, taste, durability, dunkability, post dunk taste, satisfaction, moristness, and finally a total there as well. <clears throat> so right down at the bottom, we've got to add today's biscuit in there to in, find in out. In native language. Oh, I don't know how we're going to do that. So all the way, thanks so much to the incredible um, Luke Ritson, mm. who uh, is not only, I mean, I don't know how, uh, revealing your personal life, <laughs> I'll, I'll just leave that there. Um, <laughs> Whoa! Well, people really are going to make up a lot of oh, different God. assumptions. We live in the same house. They live in we the, have the a house frontier mates. house. There's like, uh, he lives, <laughs> but, so, I don't know, your new housemate, not only is he your new housemate, a good friend, but he also makes awesome videos yes. and trailers and stuff for Elite Dangerous and Planet Coaster. Uh, Very talented Jesus man. Christ. It's a hard life. It's a hard job. It's Friday. It's been a long week. He went to Japan. All the way from Japan, he got us these. These are... To Tokyo Banana Tree. So Tokyo Banana Tree uh, is uh, quite a famous confectionery uh, place in Japan. Apparently people actually go from all around the world to find these things. 
Okay. And um, that's why everyone was like, oh, bring me back a Tokyo oh, banana. Oh, wow. But these are biscuits specifically. There are actually things called Tokyo bananas, which are like um, quite a famous sweet uh, in Japan. It's like these weird, we had it yesterday. It's like mashed up banana inside this weird banana I'm going to have foam. to eat that again. Not today, uh, fortunately for you. Um, but these nice. are called Siali Mate, and it is long de chat cookie, which means uh, cat's tongue, apparently, according to Joe Cook. Uh, lots of information here for you. Um, so they're kind of shaped like a cat's tongue, they're quite thin, but they're a famous, famous shop. I almost feel like I don't want to open this up. I feel you're yawning. <laughs> Lovely it's packaging. Just place going. As <laughs> I've just noticed you got a smiley face in gold on your yeah, hand. Yeah, I told you that. We might be bored. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, Siali, mate. What are they called? To what are they called? Let me do the thing. Tokyo banana tree. Tokyo. Tokyo banana. I'm not really bored, by the way. I, I slept for like four hours. No, like, no, you may. Languid to chat cookie. <laughs> no, we're just going to go for Siali, mate. Yeah, but they are languid to chat. Siali, mate. <laughs> Siali, mate. Long <laughs> vision. <laughs> Quite a famous French biscuit. Cat's tongue. The long de chat. Oh, look, the packaging's cat's lovely. Tongue. It's a shame because. A cat's tongue. Look at this. The is packaging's it so nice in here. Mm. It's like, it's like Christmas. Packaging. Look at that. I wish there was. Because look at this beautiful packaging. Cat's it's very tongue. subtle. This is really, this is the nicest. I would say they're probably. The, get out. Get him out. <laughs> Sit down, Henry. Uh, this is probably the most, the nicest packaging that we've oh, seen, no. I would say. It's difficult to see in the camera, unfortunately, because. Oh, stop lowering my chair down. <laughs> It's too chaotic. I'm trying to do my biscuit review, and you're supposed to be my <laughs> friend. You're supposed to be supporting me in this. Oh. <laughs> Just get out of my ear. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, I have to work with these people all day. Yeah, he does. <sighs> He's my boss. <laughs> He's sticking a hoover in my ear. <laughs> Lovely packaging. <laughs> Tell Kip and I love the cookies. Look at this! It's so bizarre! Look at this stuff in here. Look at that. That's, that's, I don't know what that means. So what that means. That's showing off a lot of different things you can get as well. Don't do it! <laughs> No! <laughs> Can we do the biscuit review? There's oh different God. types here, I think. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you know, it's it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. <laughs> in a minute. Oh my God! <laughs> I've been so aggressive today. And I've got a pint of tea. It's all gone wrong. Zach's you can have my. Though. You can have my. Mug. No, I don't want your mug. Oh. These look amazing. Mm. Uh, so these look like the banana flavored ones, and these look like chocolate flavored ones. Which one do you want to go for? It's got to be banana, isn't it? Yeah, it's banana thinking. company. There you go. Thanks. Uh, they look like kids' biscuits. These are fantastic. They're individually packaged. Whoa! Mm. Um, individually packaged. And they've got like these cool little markings on them. Henry the Hooper um, is in the chat. And there he is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and what? they've got, look, look at the little, on the packet, they've got a little bow. A little, uh, look, the little banana's got a little bow on it. And Hi! it's very cute. Uh, I love that Henry the Hoover's in the chat. <laughs> who, is, who is Henry the we Hoover? Don't, we don't know. Oh, come on, that's going to be... I know who that is. Who do you think it is? I, Orange I, Spark I, or Grief? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. without question, that's Orange Spark or uh, Grief. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Orange Spark uh, or Grief. Oh, look at these, these are beautiful. Oh, these are... Oh, they smell really so awesome. good. Smell them. Look at that. Oh, that's like a banana milkshake look, oh, right there. Look, it smells so nice. Look at that, guys. Oh. Like a layer of banana in there. Like a little sort of weird oh, bean word. shape with like a lovely printing on there. Really lovely, really oh, lovely smells so good. Oh, oh, it does smell like a banana milkshake. So good. I'm sorry. Appearance. What are you saying on appearance I'm so sorry, far? Right, you ready? Yeah. I'm going good. nine. <laughs> <laughs> nine on appearance. Nine. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. It looks a bit plasticky. That <clears throat> looks kind of chocolatey rather than. It looks like a kid's What biscuit. do you think out of ten? Uh, I think an uh, eight point one. I'm gonna go right in the middle of that and go for an eight point five. Is that right? Eight point five five, but I can't go for that. Push again. Taste. You ready? Go for it. Mmm. Mm. I like. Weird. Different. Really different. Sorry. Oh, no, no, don't worry. Oh, no, I like. Rob! <laughs> <laughs> again, I've fooled me again. So easy. Mm. Alright. Oh, yes. Yeah. What do you think? I really like. I really like. 
They taste like these cookies that I used to bring to school for my snack. They're, you're constantly going on about like how it feels like a bit like a kid's biscuit. It's a kid's biscuit kind of to agree. me. I really like it. I like the fact that the the biscuit is like that really light, crumbly biscuits you can get, but then yeah. the, the mm. banana cream in the middle is really good. I like them. Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's, I'm going to say, and, it, and there's very few of them, only four in the pack. Mm. 8.6 for me. Yeah, again, I would probably go for so, a high mm. eight. If not a nine, I'll go but for then an eight point four. So that's fine. so. What we can see is that I clearly oh, overmark. No, no, it's great. <laughs> Texture. Oh, I thought it was great because the, yeah. the, yeah. the banana on the center it wasn't. It was kind of soft enough, but not like it was nice. It was kind of. But then it's like oh, more like a chocolatey. It's not foamy. It wasn't spilling out the edges. It's not getting no, out it's of my great. hands. No, it's yummy. No, really good. A good bite on it. Mm-hmm. Snap. Yeah. It's a fantastic biscuit. It's really it's great. Mm. It's really nice. I agree. Durability. I wish they just sold them. I have them no in, crumbs. I, have a I wish, I wish they sold them in packs that weren't yeah. like this small I'm gonna, I'm, for like I'm a normal. Excited to eat another one. Yeah. What are you thinking about durability? I have no crumbs, so it's a high number. You got no crumbs anyway. No it's crumbs. Not breaking up. It's solid. I'm gonna go for like eight point eight. Thanks, Henry. Um, dunkability. Here we go. So I'm gonna let you do the dunkability test because I've got very little left of mine. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, oh, I don't test. think this is going to stand up to a dunk you test. You don't think so? Are oh, you going to hold it for? Right, I've got a count. Okay. No, no, no. I've never <coughs> not done the dunk test before, you so have I have to, to do it. So I'm going to open a fresh one. No, oh. you can. Oh, okay. All right. Wait, we're waiting for his new biscuits. I'm going to another one. Very lucky. Don't blame me. So lucky. lucky. Boy. Mm. Can, can this be oh. the. Oh, durability! Oh, <laughs> I've seen that, though. Cross hatch. Oh, yeah, a little scoring so on that it. that fell off, and it's got a little cross hatch on it. On the actual banana on the inside, you can see that. What? A what? Like cross oh, hatching. Cross oh, cool. Scoring. Ah. All right. Oh, Japan, you're so crazy. All right. One, Ready? two, three. Reveal. It's held up. Oh, it's melting. The banana's melting. All right. I'll go for another Second one. Second one. One, two, three. Reveal. That's held up with a double. Yeah. That's no way that's going for a triple, though. Yeah, I'm it is. It. One, two, three. It's really? fine. Whoa, mine scared like that. Go for it, go for it, get it in there, get it in the mouth. Oh. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. That's ruined it. Nom, nom, nom. I don't like that. That's just like sticking mushy banana yeah. milkshake oh. in your mouth. Oh, like mm. a warm milkshake. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'm not cool with the dunk one. Good on dunking, like no post-dunk taste. Like when you're sick and your mom makes you mas mashed bananas. No. And you, you so... Oh, that's what we do. When you're sick, your mum makes you mashed bananas. In what country like, do you come from? Holland. Oh, and okay. you, so you like you eat a mashed banana because you're so sick and sad, and like, you eat like baby food. So that's a, ma it's a mashed banana. Oh. Okay. We're learning a lot about bread today. No, right. I mean that makes sense. People eat ice cream, don't they? Oh, when they've got, like, like, so I don't think it was terrible. If you dunk it in really quickly, like bloop, it was quite nice. It was just a bit moist, but it, but I prefer it, the texture was very important to me. I have a weird the, the post dunk aftertaste is really horrible. Bad. Yeah, I would. Uh, for me, post dunk aftertaste was. An, I mean, dunkability <laughs> much higher than I thought it would be. Yeah, yeah, eight point seven. I've gone for. Yeah, that's good. There we but go. Mashed bananas as a child was amazing. Thank you. One person in the world who. Anyway, um, but post. Don't give me those evils. But the uh, <laughs> the post dunk taste. I mean, I would about? argue. I would argue down to a four. Like, four. It wasn't, <laughs> <don't taste> <laughs> wasn't <laughs> strong. Wasn't a strong post dunk <laughs> taste. I'm not going for Maybe a five. I really that's because we it too long. Low. If you just went bop. No, that's not true. It would still be shit. Whoa! I think so. I really think it's, so. It's just it's dropping just, the S-bomb. I really think so. <laughs> I really did. think so. The post dunk taste is really What would bad. it be, Bo? Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going for a six. No, lower. I'd argue lower. I'd like five. a five. 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 Satisfaction makes a difference. Uh, so overall, how did you feel about the biscuit? It's been tarnished by an overdunk. And it upsets me. We're totally, we're totally eat another. Yeah, but that's more just what about your satisfaction? Oh, how do you satisfaction. feel about the biscuit? I think it was a great biscuit. That was I feel a great like biscuit. Yeah, very happy. Or upset. Very happy. 7.8 for me. Higher, higher. No, 7.8. 8.5. I was very satisfied. 8.1 is where I'm going, right in the middle, because I agree with you both. Oh. That's, hard, That's not possible. Moorishness. <laughs> very, very high. Nine. Nine Moorishness. Nine point four. Nine point five. Nine point seven. I want Skyrim. <laughs> Damn it. Bro. 
God damn it, Paul. <laughs> Very good scoring biscuit there. 65. See, you just cursed as well. Not just Ooh, me. Oh, it's, it's gone into the good. top 10. Is it really? Yeah. Ooh. I, I agree with that. I think it was fantastic. That's great. It's very, very nice. I'm excited to try out the... the, the, the arguably, oh, um, I mean, other now. than the post-dunk side of things, arguably, because I tried those special biscuits as well, I think it was very much on that It's on higher that high than level. stroke waffles. No, of course. Of course no, it's, it's higher not. than stroke waffles. No, it's no. about the same, which it literally is by, mm. by 0.8. It's 0.8 between strut waffles and Tokyo banana tree Sally mate, which was Sally mate. All right, come on, mate. Sally mate. Calm down, mate. Um, uh, 65 is a right. How can you be in any way? Well, you can be because it's quite high. It's very high up. Yeah. It's 65 great is very Cracking high up. Cracking biscuit. To, 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 Fourth place, joint fourth. I actually think the other, if we would have picked the other one, yeah, it would have I think scored the, way higher. I think the banana was a little bit too, maybe we should do the other ones tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's Saturday. Maybe we should do the other ones on Monday. Come in tomorrow and do it. We can't do it on Monday. <laughs> Genuinely, I put that in the same tier. The same tier as like yesterday's, the, the really amazing Chocolate chocolatey losses. ones. Yeah, they were amazing. Like, they're yeah. up on the top tier Stop of waffles. amazing biscuits. Stop Stop waffles. But very small. Whereas strip waffles are, they're nice. Yeah. They're nice. They're not like the top tier amazing. They're, I like No, because Bastogna are. Sure, I don't know. Oh, are you going to be there? When are they coming in? Next Bow Tuesday, whenever it's Bow Tuesday. You're Bow Iest on those, though. Boest. She's Boest. They will not let you down. I should be reviewing the Dutch ones. I will not review them then. That's fine. Fine. Good. I don't want you to. Thanks, everybody. You've been wonderful. Oh, no, of course, because it is the seven. it is Friday. That means that we have to do this thing, right? Oh, well, oh, the reading of the thingy. Yeah, so Zach, oh, you're going to take yes. uh, the first. So everybody, thank you so much for coming along today. You have been wonderful this week. You've been absolutely incredible, in fact. So incredible that I want to say goodbye to you, even every one of you, individually. But I will have my guest friends here to help me out. So without further ado, thank you. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you on Monday yeah, for more right, Biz right. Quiz at 1 p.m. So thank you to Admiral Akbar, Alistair EAC, Artel, Demerthy, and Beaumont, Fatcat Willem, Balloon Knots, Big Fun Art, Commander Benkai, Commander Sullivan, Commander Hatch, Commander Kelder, Commander P Driver, Commander Wire, Brian CT 15159, and DBO Stole. Deeb stole my bike. Thank you too. Where are we? Delay designer. Ah, delay designer. Do for nine one one. Draken. Uh, two five two four zero. Oh. Draco twenty five thousand two hundred forty. Draco star. Draz cool. Uh, pretty pretty dear, uncool. Yeah, pretty uncool. He's pretty uncool. He's pretty uncool. Alder. Uh, evil blue shell. Mm -hmm. uh, fire of bones. Fumbles. Grief. Two T. Who's griefed? And griefed and. And shot him first. Next one. Oh. And shot him first. Yeah. And thank you to... Henry the Hover, Indiana Jonesy, Jack uh, uh, Asumi, JJ Smashing Pumpkins, GMS 1979, Stop Joel's it. VV, Euron VD, JSB, Twitter Laguna Hunter, The Stat Wolf, Mad Prof, Mago Mago Mago, Meth Jolly, Megatony, YouTube, Mega Jim, Mr. Junk, Mega Jim, Arm Spark, Planet Coaster and Elf, Fur Cat 259, Redeemer 5803. And oh. thank you to Revian, Rusky 316, Sedated Ape, Shinaru and Ali, Shazulti, Stray Twitch, Tamarin, T Cork, and Tigerius What? Nah. Uber Dodo, <laughs> Valentin Metz, Wigsaw, XLG47, Thick Boy, Ye are all Zargul, and of course, the wonderful Zmur. <laughs> Just right. tuned in to your It's very irritating. It's so much so annoying. I'm never inviting you back on here ever again. It's okay. Zach, give him a hug. Make him Don't feel touch better. me! <laughs> <laughs> How can I live without you? Bye, everybody. <laughs> Have a lovely weekend, and I will see you.